My name is Elizabeth Kleinfeld. Hello, I'm E. Paul Julian. We're very excited to have our first solo show at the Jonathan Ferrara Gallery. This work is about portraiture and how it changes over the centuries. We started off with a lot of Dutch and Flemish masters back in 2010, 2014, and now we recently have added more modern masters, yes. So like Frida Kahlo, but also Magritte and Wyeth and Rockwell. I really love Rockwell's triple self-portrait which was really nice and difficult to make, but it wasn't as difficult as Washington Cross in Delaware, where we had 12 sitters and we had to shoot them all separately. And then there was a lot of post-production. Uh, in that piece, I also had to build a boat that the sitters are in, in my studio. So they were really very meticulous about all the details. If we can't find a costume, then we'll get the costume made. Um, for the triple self-portrait, which you can see, it's the Rockwell behind us. First, we had to have a canvas with E. Paul drawn on the canvas and then some pictures that we had taken before. I shot him from behind and then with him, with his face in the mirror. And then you have to put that all together in post-production with Photoshop. We have an amazing team, so that allows us to do these kind of things. They're with us during the shoot and then after. You may not know, some of the artists, of course, are making paintings that are not really anatomically correct. So when we're trying to get in these poses, sometimes, you know, it's really impossible. So having the post-production pull it all together and make it look as close to the original as possible is really important. So this work is all about challenging stereotypes, stereotypes about race, culture, sexual preference. The only difference from some of the previous work is that we have less from the Dutch Golden Age or the Italian Renaissance and a lot more work from the 20th century. Freedom of speech is a very important piece to us. There are many groups in American society who do not have a prominent voice. The current climate is extremely polarizing and hopefully this gives viewers a chance to think about what freedom means today. And so we are highlighting two different female artists. One is Sofa Nozba Anganzola. Now contrast that to Frida Kahlo from the 20th century. We all know her, but in her time, she was not quite as famous. So we're really shining a light on some of these inequalities. They haven't changed. They haven't changed for artists, but they also haven't changed for the general public. So hopefully this work will give people some food for thought. Thank you.